Dear friends, today I'm going to show you how to handle holidays in Pandas time series analysis. I will also demonstrate how you can create a custom holiday calendar and generate date time index out of it. I am on Google Finance here and I am going to download Apple's stock prices. Click on historical prices, provide your custom date range and then click on this link to download these prices in a CSV file. I have this CSV from 1st July to 21st July. Okay. Now let's say due to whatever reason. Uh, you do not have this date column in your CSV file and it looks something like this. Okay, so I have all the prices information but no dates. But one thing I know is my data starts from 1st July and goes to 21st July. Okay, now I have launched a Jupyter notebook here and loaded uh, this CSV file into a data frame. And if I use my usual business frequency, so if you remember from my last tutorial, you can use date range function in pandas to generate the date time index. So let's say my start date is 1st July, my end date is 21st July, and my frequency is B. B means a uh, business day frequency, okay? You will notice that this is having 4th July. Now 4th July was a holiday in US because it is an independence day. Okay. And stocks uh, do not trade. So if you look at our downloaded CSV file, you will not see a price on 4th of July. So if I use this uh, date time index on my data frame, it is not going to work because it has 4th July. I want to exclude all the holidays in US. Okay. So B is not going to work and we do not have any predefined frequency that takes into account US holidays. So you have to use US holiday calendar for this purpose. So let me import the classes for US federal holiday calendar. These are the two classes that you need to import and I will create a custom business day here. So create an instance of class custom business day and supply calendar to be the US holiday federal calendar. Now you can use this as a frequency in your date range function. So instead of saying B, I am saying USB. And now it doesn't have 4th of July. So this particular frequency will exclude all US uh, holidays. Okay. And now I can safely set this on my data frame as an index. Okay, and remember to set in place equal to true. And if you execute this, you can see that now I don't have 4th July and I also don't have a weekend. So just to recap the quick difference, B frequency will exclude only weekends and not holidays versus this particular guy uh, USB will exclude weekends as well as, as well as holidays. So this was about US holiday calendar. What if I want to use Indian or Chinese holiday calendar? Well, if you look at the pandas library, uh, so first of all, pandas is an open source. So it has all its code available for public on github.com. And I am here on the holiday file. So you can see that uh, I have a US federal holiday calendar here but I do not have any other calendars. So this calendar is uh, present just as an example. Okay. And what you should be doing really is using this abstract holiday class to define your own custom holiday calendar. Okay. And I will walk you through a process of how you can do this. 
So what we are going to do is we are going to copy the US Federal Holiday Calendar, calendar class here, okay? So I will go here, copy the class, okay? And remove all of these guys, okay? And really I am, let's say I'm building my birthday calendar. So my birthday calendar and my birthday, okay? So my towels birthday. Okay, and my birthday is 15th April. Okay. I will not worry about this last parameter for now. Okay. This is how you can create your own uh, custom holiday calendar. Uh, let's say due to whatever reason um, my birthday is a national holiday <laughs> let's say i'm a very popular person okay and i want to use this uh, as a calendar in my uh, time series analysis okay so i need to now import a couple of classes so i need to import this and when i execute it it worked okay i'm now going to create my own frequency so this is my calendar okay and you know how to do this so custom business day you need to create an instance of custom business day class and then supply calendar argument so my calendar here is my birthday calendar okay and by doing this you are creating an instance of my birthday calendar and supplying it as an argument here when you execute it, you can see that it created an instance of custom business day class, which you can supply in pandas date range function. So let's say I'm creating a date range between 1st April and 30th April. Okay, so 1st and 30th April is my date range and my frequency is my C. When you execute this, you can see that uh, 15th April is missing. Let me check what was the day on 15th April. Now 15th April was a Saturday actually, so we don't know if this worked quite the way we expect it to work so what i'm going to do now is change the date to be let's say 12th so 12th here and you can see that 12th is missing now so whatever holidays you define here will be missing from your date time index all right so you can see 12th is missing here 11 and directly 13. okay now Sometimes uh, you have noticed that in US, if holiday comes on weekend, then it is observed on a following weekday, okay? Or maybe a previous Friday. So in this case, my birthday was on 15th April, which was a Saturday. But let's say I want to observe a holiday on 14th, okay? So the way you do that is by supplying this particular argument here where you will say observance is nearest workday, okay? So nearest workday for 15th April is Friday, okay? If it was 16, then the nearest workday will be 17, okay? So when I execute this, we'll see what happens. So now you notice that after 13th, so again, going back to the calendar, after 13th, 14, 15, and 16 are holiday. And you can see I am directly on 17th here. So 14 is holiday because uh, it the 15th holiday is observed on Friday, which is 14, all right? If this was 16, then you will see that, okay, so this is 16. So going back to the calendar for 16, uh, I will have holiday on 17 so you can see the 17 is missing so I have 14 and directly 18 so 15 16 and 17 are holidays okay 
Now, if you go to Pandas documentation, you will see all the possible values that you can supply as observance argument. So you can choose a uh, nearest work day or previous Friday, next Monday, whatever is a convenient and whatever is the correct thing uh, in your logic. Now in countries like Egypt, the weekend is Friday and Saturday and Sunday is a normal working day. So how do you handle that? Okay, for this, we'll again look into custom business day uh, class documentation. So if you click on shift, if you press shift tab, then it will show you the documentation. And you can see that it has a week mask, which is set to be this value, okay? Now you can modify it. So by default, your weekdays are Monday to Friday, but you can actually customize it. So let's do that for Egypt, all right? So I'm creating a new custom business day. And as a parameter, I am supplying week mask to be this, okay? Now for Egypt, I need to say Sunday is my working day and Friday is my weekend, okay? And then use this into your date range function as a frequency. When you execute this, you will notice that, okay, let me make it July actually. Now you will notice that in July, uh, Saturday was 1st July, so that was a holiday, but Sunday was 2nd July, so you see that that is not a holiday, basically not a weekend, not holiday, uh, it is a normal working day, okay? and third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and again, seventh and eighth are off because they are weekends. So you can see that after six, I have directly nine. Let's say if you are living in some imaginary world where only working days are Sunday and Monday and remaining days are holidays, then you can see, see here is what you get. In entire month of July, uh, you have to work only on this day. I wish this that was true, but it's not quite possible, unfortunately, in this capitalist world. Okay, so reverting back. All right, now, what about holidays? So the holidays in Egypt are different than in US. Okay, so let's say my holidays is, I mean, I don't know what are the holidays in Egypt, but, but let's say 4 July was a holiday in Egypt. Then you can supply it as a holiday argument in your custom business day function. So this is the format that you need to provide, okay? So when you execute this, you can see that 4th July is missing here. So this is how you can define basically your custom business day. You can say week mask and you can provide a list of holidays here and that will create a desired uh, frequency. So you can see that Pandas is pretty uh, feature rich. It allows you to customize it to whatever is your need. I have provided a link of this Jupyter notebook in a video description below. So feel free to download it and play with it. Uh, I always suggest that as you are watching this tutorial, you should uh, start coding along with me because uh, coding can be learned only by doing it. You cannot just watch this video and expect to learn uh, or become a master of pandas. You have to try it out. Uh, so download this uh, notebook and uh, make the changes in it, play with it, and that way you will get a better understanding of it. So this was all I had for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in next Pandas time series tutorial. Bye.